Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I'm testing out a revised version of the Raptor 9 rocket which I still haven't named. Basically this is if you took the Falcon 9 sort of configuration and put Raptor engines instead what would you get kind of deal and so we've got nine Raptor engines on the first stage and a single Raptor engine vacuum on the second stage and it looks fat and that is good for me because it's less likely to tip over when I try and land the first stage <laughs> um, but also because uh, that's probably a better configuration for not having to worry about high altitude winds so much and they're going with that sort of premise with Starship and Super Heavy as well so making it stouter is just better than making it tall and thin so I have done that. I have gone with four fins. I, I guess that's the new paradigm. Uh, landing on four fins. I did add a special feature to my fins. They're also a separate part just in case the paradigm changes and we're going to go with different number of fins at some point. Uh, but they have little flaps to help with stability on landing. Uh, could be used as air brakes too. They have colliders. Uh, so there's that. I did not make the grid fins. I'm just using uh, grid fins I think from Kerbal Reusability Expansion and I hope I've got them the right way around this time but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I always get that wrong. Uh, I decided to go with the worm logo uh, on this uh, just for the heck of it and a plain upper stage and you can see the sort of metallic texture. We're, we're going for cheap here okay. Uh, but we're going to try and see if we can land the first stage. I've got, uh, I really ought to uh, work on the, uh, I think I'd need to change the RC, RCS ISP there. I've got vacuum stats for it instead of sea level ones. We need more sea level stats. I'm going to change that right away uh, so that I don't forget. So I'm adjusting the ISPs. Uh, okay, so... Well, we can't see everything from here, but I'm carrying a 40 ton payload and first I'm going to test where I can land or at least bring this back in some sort of sense and then we'll make sure that the payload can continue to orbit. So we're going to reserve fuel and try and come back first, but other things may go wrong. Things have been going wrong already. Um, I went, when I tried to put the uh, Raptor vacuum engine it caused a problem creating a gap between the first stage and second stage because it wanted to make a shroud and it just persistently wanted to make a shroud so it was very annoying okay here we go so the engines are from the real engine pack not RO engines it's a different thing it's a little bit of an outdated pack but uh, I've set it to the right stats so I keep it and at some point, maybe I'll make my own Raptor engine so that I can make specific clusters. Are we going the right way? Yeah, we're going the right way. Okay. RCS is built into two stages. These black blocks here are the RCS for the upper stage. And that's because I'll eventually create a conversion kit to turn the upper stage into a mini starship. We're not there yet, but basically the mini starship will include the front end and flat bottom heat shield tiles. That's why we need to have these uh, the RCS pods on the sides, otherwise uh, the, it won't. You, we can't place the RCS the way it is on the first stage. Let me put it that way. So we'll have a front end and bottom end conversion kit for the upper stage of this. The diameter is 6.6 .6 meters. There's actually room in the upper stage. I accidentally used the the Raptor vacuum from the BFR, not BFR, the ITS stats as a reference instead of using the more up-to-date numbers. So using that higher thrust version led me to put more volume available into the tank it doesn't actually need to be as big as it is right now uh, so I've reduced the amount of fuel in it but it's got a lot of spare volume I should probably make the fairings less metallic looking this is sort of an old style rocket with the fins being the way they are 
not quite the super heavy fin look, but I wanted something different. So let's get landing guidance ready. Cape Canaveral. And we'll reserve 20 seconds here. So there we go, separation and ignition. Okay, but I want to switch to here. RCS on. Retrograde. Okay, RCS is working. Uh, deploy those grid fins. Who knows if I've got that right. <laughs> that they're, they're pretty powerful RCS thrusters. They're 8 kilonewtons right now. So I gave them a lot. And we want to shut down most of the engines except for three. That's what the engines look like at the bottom. Plenty of space. Okay, ignition. And actually, we want um, we want to tilt up a bit. And I'll just do that manually. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I guess that'll be as good as I'm gonna get right now. Okay, so surface negative relative velocity, and the thrusters are working on methane and oxygen. Right now, the thrusters are not very efficient, actually. Well, up here they are, but at the surface they're not going to be because I accidentally used vacuum stats for them. I might want to actually turn the fin location just so that they're not interfering with the airflow to the grid fins. We'll see. Cape Canaveral's looking a little bit weird at this site. Okay, we're going to have to look into doing uh, slow ourselves down kind of burn just in case things blow up otherwise. So just two engines for this. I'll do a little bit now. 40 kilometers is a good time to ignite. Looks stable though, and I haven't used the little flaps to add additional braking. I think the rest can be done by the atmosphere. I think we slow down enough that we wouldn't blow ourselves up. Okay, but I will deploy the flaps now. Lower flaps. We're just supersonic. And now we are subsonic. Okay, SAS, because otherwise it might wiggle. Or I could use kill rotation. Should pick one. A little bit early. Uh, oh, way early. Oh shoot, I hate this part. <laughs> because of the ignition time. I, ah. Uh, okay, close, close. Uh, let's see, with, with the long ignition time that we have with... Oh, the, the little fins work. And why do they act like they're in water? I'm so confused. Anyway, but <laughs> out of all things to survive, everything else dies, but the fins don't. But anyway, um, yeah, we have this weird long ignition time with the engines in realism overhaul. I don't know if the Raptors are going to have that kind of ignition time or not. The Merlins seem to ignite really quickly. So anyway, uh, saving 20 seconds will work. I'll just need more practice with that. Okay, so revert to launch. We'll just go ahead and proceed and check that we can get 40 tons to orbit and what kind of margin we have on that. Make sure that the upper stage RCS works. Oh, uh, somehow we got the gap again. Uh, oh, uh, somebody, somehow we got the shroud again. Okay, so the Raptor vacuum engine from real engines keeps making the shroud and the shroud keeps making this gap uh, between the first stage and second stage. I'm just gonna uh, get on with it, but yeah, just be aware of that. If you get that gap, that's why. Uh, make sure the shroud is disabled. But then it keeps trying to enable it, even though I disabled it. I don't know why. 
It really likes that shroud. Anyway, ignition. And launch. Whoa, wait, okay, maybe shroud is more important than I thought. Um, it's weird. Okay, 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 okay. Something went wrong. Let's go back to vehicle assembly. Make sure there's no shroud. That's like that. Shroud is disabled. Put that like that. I mean, maybe I, I should shift it myself a little bit lower. Well, it's going so well, too. Okay, I've, I've made a little gap here. That's think thing says shroud enabled again. Like, oh, disable, save. I've got it up. You can't put it back. Launch. Okay, please let it work. SAS on, throws up, ignition. And launch. Well, it's going up straight now. So, use at your own risk. I blame the Raptor engine. I'll make my own at some point. Then they'll never have a shroud. Okay, throttling down. And shut down. Separation and ignition. Again, Separatrons here might be good. And this troublesome vacuum engine is on. Uh, that's the second stage. Okay, yeah, that's the thrust we expected. Alright. Technically the RCS should come on at the same time to control roll. Then fairing sep. Fairing sep is clean. I made a payload adapter this time. Made it brown. I don't know why. A lot of them seem to be tan. Again, just a 40 ton dummy payload of ab gas. No, I didn't even put RCS on. I guess we'll test a roll here. Just to make sure. No, oh, I guess it's already at 180. Okay, it's rolling in forward puffs. Okay. Side to side puffs. Seems fine. Okay. Basic orientation thrusters are okay. Okay, very good. And shut down. 223 by 165. The way I have a little bit more if we wanted to put it in somewhat of a higher orbit. And I could use the RCS as well. But 40 tons to low Earth orbit while landing, well, reserving enough fuel to land the first stage 20 seconds there. And let's see the payload adapter work. Um, okay, yes, it worked. The payload has separated from the adapter. Rather wooden looking adapter, but okay. So that's a test of that. Of course, hopefully there is another potential use for our Raptor 9 first stage. I don't know if this is going to work on attachment. Uh, I might want to work on where the attachment node is. But... Um, snap. Yeah, it looks like it's inside the body. I'll have to change that. But in theory... The fins are far enough apart that if this is rotated right... It's not going to impinge on anything on SLS, as you can see. So these fit on SLS as boosters. And we could easily add cones on top, though I might want to make custom cones as well. And we have the makings of something potentially useful, uh, though I'll have to, like I said, make sure the attachment node is a little bit better off. And yeah, we will have to test this sort of thing out in a different video. So we've already tested something. We'll, we'll try this out, but I have to make some edits. This was the first test of this Raptor 9 version. Of course, I've tested a similar rocket before with procedural parts, but I wanted to make a custom model for it. Now I have, you can tell me what you think about the stylings of it. 
I'll link the parts, but there's obviously things that I need to fix. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.